for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Well, welcome to our series of videos on quick tips for Dreamweaver CS5. In this video and in the next couple of videos, I want to take a look at some of the tools and shortcuts that Dreamweaver gives you to speed up your uh, work inside of uh, Dreamweaver. Now, I'm mainly going to deal with three different areas in um, these videos. One is going to be the header area on a document, and we'll see that in just a second. The second is going to be this tool panel area right over here. And this may look different from the way you normally see it, and I'll show you how to switch between those views. And then finally, we're going to look at the properties panel down here. Well, let's go ahead and get started with talking about the tool panel right over here. If you're not used to seeing the tool panel in this format, you probably are used to seeing it in this format, where we have two panels open here, and we have files, assets, and snippets down below, and styles and AP elements up here at the top. And basically, clicking on this arrow will expand and collapse this tool panel. And this will give you a little bit of extra space. Now, when the panel is collapsed like this, whenever you click on one of the buttons, you're going to get that particular panel open up. As we looked at before, we had two different sections here, one with styles and AP elements and the other with files, assets, and snippets. And you'll see the two different groups here reflect that. So when I click on one of these buttons, you're going to see that that panel jumps out. And I can actually go to assets and snippets right from here. And you'll see even the shadow falls along with me. If this isn't enough space for you, you can also resize this window. You know, I like a lot of room in my files panel, so I'm going to resize it that way and maybe make this column a little bit wider. To collapse this back in so you can continue to uh, work in your main workspace area, you just click this double arrow again, and you'll see it collapses in. I click it again, though, and it comes out in the same way that I shaped this before. And I could do the same thing with CSS styles here. Yeah, I might be able to drag this on down, and that way I have more room in between my two sections here, and I can see more. So this tool panel here can be modified and worked with um, and customized depending on what it exactly is that you're doing. Now, I'm going to go ahead and click on Files right now. And again, you're going to uh, look for another video on assets and snippets, and we'll go more into what those are. And I'm just going to go ahead and open up a document. In this case, I'm going to open up the index file. I'm just going to go ahead and double-click on it, and you'll see it appears there. I'm going to close this panel by clicking on the double arrow, right like that. See, it collapses in. And there is my document. Now, that area that I talked about up at the very top, this header area, actually was really improved in the Dreamweaver CS5 um, version. You still have the tab up here, and if there are unsaved changes in your document, for instance, I'm just going to hit a space there, you'll see that the asterisk appears there. But you can now right-click on this tab. And you're going to see you can create a new page right from here, open existing pages, close and close all, and save and save all. I'm going to go ahead and click Save there. Now, down below your Sheet tab is the area called the Related File Strip. Any files that are linked to or related to this document will also be listed here. So when I look in my files panel, you're going to see I have two style sheets, print and styles.css. And those have both been attached to this HTML file. So by opening up this single item, again, I'll close that and open it back up again. By opening this single document up, I now have access to the source code for it and the styles that are associated with it without opening up all of the files. If I 
make a change in one of these, like we'll just go ahead and click and add a space, you're going to see that you get the asterisk there. I can do the same thing in the uh, print one. If I was to make a change in the source code, you know, again, I'm just typing spaces here. Any change will do. You'll see that we have those asterisks there indicating there are unsaved changes. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and say save all. That's a great time saver right there. And you'll see the asterisks have now disappeared. Now, in an earlier version of Dreamweaver, they introduced these three buttons here that will allow you to go into code view or design view. This is sort of your what you see, what you get view. And obviously this is your code view. Or split the two. So when I split it, I see my code over here and I see my um, design view over here. So I can work in both at the same time. If I highlight something in design view, you're going to see it gets a corresponding highlight in the code view. And if I highlight something in code view, it gets a corresponding highlight in the design view. So I always know where it is that I'm working. So I really like split view. Now, split view became even more useful with the introduction of some of these live views. And the live view that we're going to look at right now is just simply live view. And what this does is it replaces this section over here with a preview window. So I can actually, without um, opening up a browser window, I can actually, or clicking on some tab, I can always see what's going on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make a change here. I'm going to go ahead and change page banner section to uh, just plain old page banner. We'll take that text out of there. And all I have to do to see the changes update live is just simply click. And I see those changes. Now, this shouldn't replace testing the page in a browser. And you're going to see right here, I've got my different preview and browser options. So we don't have to go to the file menu. And I have Firefox, Google Chrome, and Internet Explorer. If you're interested in seeing how to add a browser to this preview list, we have a couple of tutorials, one on adding the Opera browser and the other on adding the Chrome um, browser. So we do have that shortcut right there as well. And you can get in and edit the browser list and add those if you want. If you ever need to refresh either the code or the design or, or the uh, live view, you also have a refresh button right here. And you can obviously title the document from right here. There's another refresh button for the code view right there. In our next video, we're going to look more at the properties panel down here and also how this CSS styles panel can be used to speed up coding. Also, if you're interested in seeing the high definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. When we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.